it's the English Simmer here and The Sims 4 just received a brand new SDX drop and today we're gonna be having a little look at it. It is actually a collaboration which I am super excited for. There's also something upcoming with this collaboration in July but they've actually taken two old base game hairstyles and actually just updated the colors. It's a little bit confusing the way that they've worded it so I kind of wanted to show you which two they were in the game just in case you missed them and all the new colors that are introduced with these hairs. So this is part of Play in Color with Dark and Lovely. Today's free update brings 24 color combinations across two existing hairstyles. Now don't get excited, they haven't introduced like brand new colors to any other hairs, not even these original like existing hairstyles that they talk about. They've actually given us two completely separate new items, even though they're the same hairs they just have different color combinations on them. Like I said this is a collaboration between Dark and Lovely and then also Danielle aka Ebonics, one of my favorite people on the feckin planet. I love Danny so much. A campaign and documentary that shines a spotlight on the importance of authentic representation in gaming. Now this blog post basically talks about how obviously diversity is ongoing. I mean Danielle has been creating for years is when it comes to custom content. Honestly, it has been such a leader in that and just like absolutely incredible hairs and offering representation. This locks hairstyle is actually the one that is gonna drop in July. This is what it's currently looking like on like the concept art and honestly, probably with in-game. These are kind of the colors that you will expect to see. I really love the look of this. Something that we don't have in the game so far. Obviously with Afro texture hairstyles there is still so much to be done which is why they are continuously saying this is a continuous thing we don't just want to at the end of the day clock out and be like hey we're done diversity accomplished because that's not true like the sims 4 is still extremely lacking when it comes to representation and diversity don't get me wrong it's kind of a spearhead in gaming and we obviously know that the team are having like these open conversations and holding themselves accountable for things that aren't already in the game but there is still so much like all you have to do is go browse a Bonix page and you can see thousands of hairstyles that we don't actually officially have within the game that obviously a lot of players would love to see officially within the game, especially for those people who can't use custom content and kind of can't represent themselves in a realistic way in a life simulation game. Also, just to point out the 24 new hair swatches that we actually have are inspired by Dark and Lovely's Immersive Bolds collection. Shade it's Poppin' Pink, Reality Red, and Virtual Violet. So let's actually hop into the game and have a cheeky little gander at them. Starting off with the puffs, I actually love this hairstyle. I actually use it quite frequently. I can't remember if this was like a kid's hairstyle at first and then they took it over to adults. And I have to say, it's definitely my favorite out of the two that we got. Just to show you what kind of colors we're talking about, obviously you got those violets, you got those reds, and then you do it just have some like browns with like a lighter brown on the end. This is what I mean by kind of the two-tone. It's kind of what we are sometimes used to seeing when they give us like a dyed version and a non-dyed version. They did it with this Discover University hair. I actually think the color traces on this one is pretty sick. I love the pop. I absolutely love the way that the colors look. I also just like love the texture on this hairstyle. I think it's a very, very well done hairstyle style actually within the game. I definitely have my favorite, which I will talk about when we get to it. I do think this mint one's kind of cute. Then we have lime green right here. This like lilac is so stunning. I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. And then you kind of have the gray with the blue. These are obviously the dyed hair colors that we are used to seeing. So these are like slightly more vibrant than the others. But you kind of just got a mix of everything. Obviously, it would be kind of sick if we got hair sliders. I don't think we're ever gonna get them in The Sims 4. So that you could really just like change the ends and the roots and the main portion of the hair to be like any color you want it to be. I mean, adding swatches is all well and good, but it still kind of limits your creativity. Like I said, this is a brand new version. So these just aren't swatches actually added on to the one that we already had. So this was the one that already actually existed. And then this is actually 
actually the second hair that they redid in different colors. Now I will say when it comes to the original of this one, kind of blocky, and then that goes for also the like dyed ones, whereas in the new one, it's kind of more of like a two-tone thing, like the roots are still a Sims natural color, and then it shifts. As you can see, she has black roots up at the top of her braids. I don't particularly like this hairstyle. I honestly feel like Afro textured hairstyles have got a lot better than this. I just think this one kind of suffers from what a lot of Sims 4 hairstyles suffer with, which is like far too much volume like up here. Sometimes I just wish that the kind of like quiffy moments were just a little bit lower and they kind of sat closer to a sim's head just because sometimes I don't feel like they look the best. So do just keep in mind kind of where these are in the catalog. Obviously not everyone has five columns mods so yours might be a little bit lower and obviously I also have a lot of custom content in between. Your original one of like this hairstyle probably isn't gonna be as low as mine unless you have like the same amount of custom content or maybe even more, in which case, how's your game holding up? Honestly, I just absolutely love it when they collaborate with creators who have put so much time, effort, dedication, and also very important representation into The Sims. Obviously, we've seen it with D Sims, we're seeing it with Ebonics, we've seen it with X Mira Mira, Zarela as well, and I hope that they just continue to do this. It does seem like this one is gonna go on for a little bit. It definitely seems like a kind of partnership type deal, which I'm really, really excited for. I like what they've given us. I am excited for that Lux hairstyle that is dropping in July. Also, if you aren't currently seeing this within your game, just make sure you go to your game options, Sims Delivery. I have it to check only on startup and I have it to set to automatically download. You'll get a little notification that says a new SDX drop has been found. We're just gonna install this. And then once it's actually installed, you just have to reboot <laughs> and you will be able to see it. You can also just hit check for new content. If you aren't seeing this currently within your game, and hopefully it will find it for you. Like I said, restart and it will be there. Also, Danny's part of the collaboration has actually introduced six new custom content hairstyles that Ebonics has worked on with Dark and Lovely to also represent those brand new colors to take your Sims tresses to the next level in game and beyond. So if you are able to download custom content, I'm gonna leave a link to this and also the documentary and the blog post down below. Absolutely flipping stunning. Also the colors again, I just have to say, I think the colors are incredible. I'm so, so glad they decided to go ahead with this collaboration. And I really, really hope that it's a continued collaboration and partnership. I just always wanna see more authentic representation and diversity when it comes to this game. I think when they do collaborations with Black Simmers, the hairstyles that come out of them are absolutely incredible. The edges and the baby hairs have been absolutely unreal. They look so good and it always seems to come out of a collaboration like this with simmers who know their communities, know what people want and how to realistically recreate that within the game. So uh, continued success for this collaboration, please and thank you. And just more diverse hairstyles in general. Like I said, there are so many that have been created by custom content creators over the years. Not saying that they should go in just swoop up all these amazing designs that creators have done. But obviously it goes to show that there's a lot of hairstyles that we aren't currently getting in official releases. And I would just like to see that continuously stepped up. I hope this video was helpful. If you did happen to miss it, I know they obviously talk about a lot of their updates over on Twitter now. So I just wanted to make this little video to make sure you lot could get your hands on the new stuff. Absolutely uh, love to see this and I will see you all in my next one. Bye now.